Hello, in this video, we're going to install Hyper-V on Windows 10 Professional. Uh, this page right here, I will have the link beneath the video later on, but this page on Microsoft's site basically tells you all the steps. So if you have Windows 10 Home, you can upgrade that to Windows 10 Professional because you need, as this shows right here, Windows 10 Enterprise Professional or Education in order to run Hyper-V, and these are the requirements. So we're going to use PowerShell to install Hyper-V, and you have to run PowerShell as an administrator. So this command right here is the command we're going to put into PowerShell, uh, and we need to launch PowerShell first, and then I'll copy this command, and I'll paste it into PowerShell, and basically it will set up Hyper-V, and then the machine will need to be rebooted. Uh, once it's rebooted, we can run the Hyper-V manager and start adding our virtual machines to this. So the first thing I want to do is start PowerShell. So I go to the Start button to here, type in Power, and it automatically comes up. I can right-click on the first one, um, Windows PowerShell ISC, run as administrator, that's there. And then when this comes up, I'm going to copy and paste this command from the website into PowerShell. So there's the command. It's a little bit small, but I'm just going to right click here and pa or paste it. And if you have opened the wrong PowerShell terminal, these will not show up in the right colors. So I know I'm in the right terminal because we've got these different colors here. Just a quick kind of visual check. I'm going to hit enter here. And you see it's running, and this will take a couple minutes, and then it's going to ask us to reboot the machine when we're done. Uh, when we're done and the reboot occurs, uh, then we can run Hyper-V Manager, as I mentioned, and add the virtual machines. So I'll give this a couple more seconds here before I pause the video. We're go, going to go ahead and pause now. Okay, it looks like that finished. So you see it asks us if you want to restart. I'm going to go ahead and click on yes here. And then uh, when the machine reboots, I'll return back to the video and show you how to launch the Hyper-V Manager. OK, it's finally restarted. So now we can see if the Hyper-V Manager is available. So in the search windows button, or toolbar down here we can type hyper <clears throat> and there we see hyper v manager so this was not there before but it's there now since we installed hyper v so we go ahead and double click on that we don't care about this onedrive stuff and we'll do a video later on on how to set up virtual machines within hyper v but the first step we've accomplished, which is enabling Hyper-V and launching the Hyper-V manager. It may take a second for the manager to start up here. It's adding a snap into the management console for Hyper-V manager. As you can see, once the Hyper-V manager is started, any systems you are controlling from the Hyper-V manager will show up under Hyper-V manager here. Uh, for instance, this is the only machine I'm controlling. This is the machine I just set up Hyper-V on. If I right-click on this, you can set up a new virtual machine, very similar to VMware or VirtualBox, or you can import a virtual machine. This was just a quick introduction to how to set up Hyper-V and how to start the manager. We will do a video later on on how to use Hyper-V for your virtualization platform. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them uh, beneath the video. Thanks. Have a good one.